day or two before Christmas, and all through the house, one was running about wondering, what the heck can I make for my friends and family as Christmas gifts? Well, on this quickie episode of Make It With Calvin, I'm gonna give you guys my top picks for Christmas gifts, including things I've made and things other people have designed. So, let's dive in. So if you're like me, I'm not that great at getting people gifts. I'm quite literally the person that a couple years ago, a friend of mine asked me what I wanted for Christmas and I said, graph paper. And I kid you not, I got graph paper. She thought it was a joke. I was thrilled. I'm easy to impress, I guess. Now that said, if you're looking for quick and easy 3D prints to do, I'm looking at ones that can be quite literally knocked out theoretically the day before Christmas, day or two before, nothing multi-piece, nothing big, small stuff. Um, these are my top picks. First one would be Abuzz Designs Snowflakes. These are a quick and easy ornament gift that you can do. I've seen a ton of really, really, really impressive uh, multi-extrusion ones where people will print one part in one material and then they'll print another part in another material. Or even Lauren herself showed some really interesting painting designs on hers. Really a, a fun project to look into, easily scalable to make larger and smaller. And if you know somebody who loves snowflakes or just loves wacky ornaments, it's an awesome, awesome idea. Um, another item that she came up with is actually these awesome little multi-extrusion gift tags. And over at Sparky Phase 5, Tessa shows how you can take a single extrusion printer and make it look like a dual extrusion print with that, but that's a little more complex. Being that they are dual extrusion models, if you take them into a software and dual extrusion merge them, export out the file, you can print it as one solid item. I believe there's videos on how to do that, and I'm not gonna get into the details of that in this video. Another thing that's a good option is Maker Coins. Um, this one is my own personal one. It is modified definitely from the one that you may have seen in the intro to the GoPro handle video. I decided to make mine a lot simpler, but I digress. These are awesome because a lot of makers have put their coin files up there or you can maybe ask them and they'll be nice enough to give you one, their files for it. These are an awesome way to not only show your support for a channel, but also makes a fun gift. So say you know somebody who's a fan of Joel the 3D printing nerd, print his coin, fan of Angus, print his coin. You get the idea. It's a cool way to give something that somebody might really enjoy. In my case, I'm going to be releasing the files to mine in the new year, but if you guys ask nicely, I might email you the file early. I also have printing on the Ultimaker behind me right here, a big, big maker coin that I'm bringing with me down to uh, Southern California for Christmas. And it's probably going to have slightly wet paint on it still when I leave the house around nine o'clock tonight. It's, uh, what time is it? It's like 10 in the morning right now. So I've got, I don't have a lot of time to get it done, but it'll be done. It'll look awesome. Blah, 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 blah. Another really good gift idea are GoPro accessories. Now, these are personally my favorite picks, being that I designed them and I froze my butt off in the ocean testing them. And you guys should probably go see that video if you want to see me freezing to death. But, um, the little single hand GoPro handle here is a very quick and easy print to pull off. It's nothing complex. It has the O-rings which you can source at any hardware store really. Just bring the handle with you and find the ones that fit. I have a video dedicated to this. Um, this is a very nice gift for somebody who, you know, likes to do a lot of filming or traveling. It's a lot easier than like trying to hold the camera and aim it at yourself. It, it's really nice, especially if you do a lot of action sports. Um, you can also add a simple lanyard. Really helps. One other option is the other GoPro handle I designed, which is this guy. It's been slightly cannibalized for the purposes of filming this video as the monitor for it is sitting out of frame so I can see what's going on. But really the frame itself is just this bottom piece, this top piece. 
and the two handles. It's a little more complex to print, but it too is a very, very nice rig. If you want to see um, some videos that have been shot with this, I'm going to put them together into a playlist, and we've actually done quite a lot with this. Um, when I went flying with my friend Ken, who is a flight instructor slash railroad conductor, me and Danielle and her friend Rebecca took this up in the airplane and got a ton of really nice shots of flying around the Bay Area with this. Um, I also took this into the ocean with Danielle and froze to death. I highly recommend watching that video if you want to see a comparison of the two handles. And really, either one works fine. It's one of those cases of pick what works best for you. Also, this one should be noted because it has just a simple slot. You could actually mount a point and shoot camera on here if you don't own a GoPro, or you can put the proper tripod adapter on there. It's totally up to you. So sorry if this was a quickie video, guys. I quite literally am filming this at just about uh, 10 in the morning right now. In about 12 hours, I'm actually gonna be on a bus going down to Southern California to see my family for Christmas. So this was quite literally a last second video, a last second hurrah on the 3D printer. Still running around, getting things finalized before I leave. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a very, very, very Merry Christmas. Um, have a happy and safe new year. I will probably release one more video, maybe a vlog or two when I'm down there, but no promises. Uh, I don't know how crazy things are gonna be over Christmas time at my parents, but as always, have fun, stay safe, enjoy your time with your family. Um, yeah, I guess that's about it. I'll see you guys next time, probably potentially in the new year, here on Make It With Calvin with hopefully some pretty big stuff.